viewers and we are back with another docker tutorial so this time we are going to run a docker container and uh, we'll run a couple of commands to explore docker I assume that you already have enough uh, basic knowledge of docker if you don't have enough knowledge of docker you can go through my blog tutorial and you can see what is docker and uh, how to set it up you can download it for mac ubuntu or any os with on which you are running so here's my blog apichip on which you can see the installation step and the basics of docker so as of now i'll skip the introduction part uh, since it's already covered so i'll uh, walk you through the basic commands to use in docker so let's get started so here we will see example of a container for nginx docker provides uh, docker have images so uh, those images are being already registered on docker hub which you can see on docker hub so here is an image of nginx this is the official build of nginx so multiple versions are available so from here you can uh, see what all versions are available and uh, how to pull this image so the command is docker pull nginx since the image was of uh, more than 50 mb so i have already downloaded it with the command docker pull nginx you can also look for uh, any images using docker search command docker search is suppose if you want to look for redis you can write docker search and it will give you it will give you the results so the first image is the official one having 361 stars and similarly you can look for any other like nginx one so it will give you the desired uh, desired images as of now i have already downloaded nginx image so by default it is downloading the latest version but if you want to download any specific version then you can uh, put the version after the image name so suppose you want to download 1.11 image or 1.10.3 then you can put it like this and hit enter so since we have already downloaded it so i am not gonna download it again so let's skip this pull process for now so if you run docker images it will show the available images on your computer so here we have nginx image okay so this is about searching an image downloading it and here how you can download the specific version of the image so you can go on docker hub and explore it to uh, find your suitable image of any uh, any any uh, any tool like postgresql mysql or anything you want to now since we have downloaded it now let's try to run it so docker run is the command to run so docker run nginx so it has already started running so let's check this out with docker ps so docker ps lists the running containers so as you can see one uh, one container is running and is up for eight seconds so uh, basically this is the container id this is the image name this is the command running behind the scene and this is uh, created at time and status is uh, uh, since when it is up and running the port it has exposed and it has given a friendly name sleepy booth so this is the result of docker ps if i kill this and if i run the docker ps command again uh, it will show no container running okay so since we were running nginx uh, in the foreground so let's run the container in background with hyphen d option So now our container is running. You can check it with Docker PS. Okay, so it is running in uh, daemon mode, and this time it has given it the name determined way. Okay, so 
Docker PS uh, gives all the required information but if you ever want to get more details like on which IP it is listening and uh, um, on which uh, or what all ports have been exposed and so on then you can uh, always get it by running docker inspect command docker inspect and then the container id oops okay so it has given all the uh, detailed information about the container like exposed ports and the host name and so on you can explore the output of uh, docker inspect now since our container is run is running how to stop this one like if it was running in uh, foreground so i hit ctrl c and it was killed so how to run it in uh, how to stop it manually if it is running in daemon mode then you can and docker stop and the container id okay so it has stopped now as you see uh, it has given it the name determined ring previously you can give your uh, you can give your friendly name too so let's try to give it a name docker and hyphen d hyphen hyphen name is the option and uh, let's give it a name web app and let's expose a port 80 on the container and the image name here we go okay as you can see it is running and this time the name given to it is web app now as you see it is uh, running the container is running on port 80 but the host is using the port 32772 so if i go on browser and hit on local host so nothing is running i guess the previous page was cached so if I hard reload it, as you can see, uh, Nginx is not running on port 80 by default. Although the container is listening on 80, but the uh, but to access this from host, this IP should be used. Let's try to hit this IP, and here it is. You can also give the host. Uh, you can also tell the host to uh, use which port. So let's stop this container as of now. So you can also stop it by the name which you have given, like web app. Okay, no, no. Let's expose the port 80 only. Uh, since uh, so error response from the daemon conflict, the Docker name web app is already in use by this container. So let's remove this and run it again so this time we are exposing port 80 on host so this time port 80 is being used and if we hit on this random port then it won't get reached and if we hit on local host engine x is up and running Uh, so let's again run it on a random port now this time without looking on docker ps uh, let's try to find out on uh, on which random port the host is uh, listening on nginx so that can be seen by docker port and web app and the container port so this time it is listening on this port let's go and try to hit on localhost so localhost is not listening because some random port got assigned to it and it is listening on this random port yeah. 
so docker ps tells you the running containers but if you want to see all the stopped containers then you can run run it with hyphen a option so it will tell you what all uh, what all containers that were spawn and right now in stop state so basically three nginx containers are there so one is with the name web app another way is determined wing and sleepy boot so let's try to remove it Sleepy boot and web app. So if we see now it has been removed. You can also remove the image with the Docker RMI option. So Docker RMI Nginx. So it has deleted the image. So that is it from the, the uh, from this tutorial. To learn more, you can follow me on my blog. Uh, which have docker tutorial and many more we will be back with some more docker tutorial thanks for watching